All right, all right. So what's up, y'all? So yeah, let's get right into it, right? So um, last night, man, them fights, they did not disappoint at all, right? We had Roly Romero versus Pitbull, and then we had uh, Fundoro versus Tim Zhu, which was a crazy-ass fight, man. That fight, Tim Zhu, he, he had that fight, right? But, you know, unfortunately, man, he got that cut on top of his head, a really bad, nasty cut. But uh, we'll get into that right now, man. I kind of want to talk about Roly versus Pitbull first. Um, and honestly, bro, I don't know if people were more excited to see that fight than the, the main event. Because, you know, um, Fondura was like a last-minute replacement. But it made it, it made it interesting, bro. And, I mean, he got the win. So, you know, um, you know shout out to Fondura, too. But, you know, this uh, Roly versus Pitbull, you know, we got to give congratulations to to Pitbull for becoming champion last night. You know, he took Roly's belt. But, um, you know, he you know he stopped Roly, man. And I had told y'all this, bro. I already knew Pitbull was going to stop Roly, man. And honestly, bro, I'm going to keep it real. It's not really because... Or, I mean, yeah, I do think that Pitbull is the better fighter, right? But more than anything, man, um, I think... I've been saying it forever. Roly, he's damaged goods, man. Roly's not the same. You know, um, Roly's got that thing right now where... It happens to a lot of boxers that once they get knocked out, their chin is never the same, man. Um, and this is what's going on with Roly. You know, we've seen him time and time again get knocked out, even in sparring with headgear on. You know, um, it, it seems like almost in all of his fights, he, sh you know, he's got the Bambi legs at some point. And uh, and in this fight, in that first round, you know, man, he was stumbling, bro. It, it was looking bad. I thought it was gonna end in that first round. But, um, you know, we got to give Roly his props, too. He held in there despite, you know, the adversity that he was facing. And he tried to make a fight out of it, you know. Um, he was doing a lot of holding and shit. And it seems that once the, the the ref, you know, he took that point away from him for excessive holding, it kind of seems like the, the game plan broke down, right? And he, you know, he couldn't hold no more. So uh, Pitbull was just, you know, teeing off, uh, teeing away on him. But... You know, he did what he could, man. And um, there's a lot of rumors that Roly's back is injured. I don't know how true that is, right? But more than that, man, his his chin is suspect now, bro. He's just not there no more. He's damaged goods, like I said. And that's why I knew that a puncher like Pitbull Cruz was eventually going to land something. And he was eventually going to stun him. And that fight right there, it did not at all surprise me. I kind of knew that it was gonna go, it was going to go like that. Um, I was even telling people that he might stop him in the first round, and he almost did, right? Um, so that, honestly, it didn't surprise me at all. But, you know, we got to give, uh, you know, we got to give Pitbull his props. He did his thing. And then, um, you know, it's it's cool that he's he moved up to 140, and he's the champ now at 140, where that he's got a belt. And, um, you know, it kind of seemed like everybody started calling him out afterwards, right? We got Devin Haney calling him out. We got Ryan Garcia calling him out. Honestly, man, I think they see Pitbull as a weak link at 140. And um, and I don't blame them. So to be honest with you, bro, I don't blame them. Um, Pitbull, he looked kind of slow in that fight, you know? He looked kind of slow. I don't know if it's the weight. He wasn't throwing the same combinations that he usually throws. Um, I don't know. It, it's, something just wasn't there, bro. It looked like he was kind of tired or something. I don't know if it was the weight or, or what it was, but... I don't know, man. I don't think I don't think he'll uh, if Pitbull were to go up against a Ryan Garcia, I don't think he'll he'll be Ryan Garcia. I don't think he'll be Devin Haney. Um, I don't know. I kind of I kind of liked his fighting style better at 135 than 140. I don't know if the 140 weight class just doesn't fit him, but um, you know, just last night there was something there that I didn't like, bro. There was something there that I didn't. I just don't see him competing with the bigger names at 140 like a Teofimo Lopez or something like that. But, you know, but we got to give him his props, man. He did his thing. Um, you know, and, and Roly, you know, Roly was talking a lot, bro. He was talking a lot. But, you know, that's just Roly trying to sell the fight. Um, and, you know, he got knocked out. And it is what it is, right? I'm sure he'll be back. Roly's going to be all right, bro, because he sells regardless. People don't go to Roly fights to see him really fight, you know. They just go because he's entertaining, bro. And he, he talks a lot of nonsense, right? And, um... And that's why I think Roly he's he's gonna be alright. He'll he'll get some he'll get some new uh, opportunities, but um, but yeah, man. And then um, moving on to the moving on to the main event, right? Man, that shit was crazy, bro. 
You know, I feel bad for Tim Zoo, bro. I'm going to start start off by saying that. I feel bad for him because, in all honesty, bro, I think Tim Zoo would have won that fight if it wasn't for that big-ass cut that he got on the top of his head. It came it came from, like, an elbow. Um, that was very unfortunate, man. Um, he was doing good, bro, going up against Fundoro, man, you know. Um, Fundoro's super, super tall, super lengthy, bro. He gives people problems. Um, and he's tough, man. Fundora's tough, despite the way you see his build. He's super, super skinny, right? It just seems like like somebody would would just attack his body and probably fold him, right? But nah, man, he's he's kind of solid. Um, Tim Zhu, he tested his chin a couple of times. He hit him flush a couple of times, and he he took the punishment and he took it all right, you know. Um, Fundora, he's he's kind of solid despite the way he looks. He looks super skinny. He looks super fragile, but he's not, bro. You know, and um, and you know, it, it was unfortunate, right? Because Tim Zhu, he he was doing good, and then he got that cut on top of his head, and and we got to give it up to Tim Zhu, right? He didn't really make excuses, but he did have an excuse, man. He couldn't see shit, bro. All that blood was in his eyes, you know, dripping, dripping. I don't know what happened in this corner to where they couldn't stop that cut. But they, you know, it was kind of messed up. They asked him afterwards about that shit. They were like, hey, did your corner, did your cut man have the right uh the right um liquids or chemicals or whatever to stop that cut? And he was like, no comment, you know. I think he was kind of disappointed that they couldn't stop the bleeding and shit. Um because it, it you know, that's that was the main the, the biggest problem he was having, bro. Imagine, you know, you're gushing blood, that shit's in your eyes, and you got gloves on, you know. You can't wipe that shit away, bro. If you if you if you ain't have no gloves on, of course you could wipe that shit off. But you try wiping blood out of your eyes with gloves, it's damn near impossible, man. And um he was trying uh his best to get that blood out of there, but he was pretty much fighting blind, man. And he was still doing alright, bro. He was still holding his own, but last night I think uh I think Fundora, he just got like a, a very, very lucky win, man. It was a lucky win. You know, shout out to Fundora. He did his thing too. Don't don't get me wrong, man. Fundora got his nose broken. He was gushing blood too, man. And he hung in there. Uh, he stayed tough, man. And he did what he had to do. Uh, we kind of seen Fundora move. You know, he, he the way he fought last night, that's the way people have always been wanting him to fight. You know, using his, his reach, his jab. But I guess he doesn't like to fight like that, bro. He says that it's kind of boring for him. But, you know, somebody that damn tall and lengthy, bro, that's what you got to do. You know, you got to stay on the outside and pop uh, pop that jab. But, um, you know, he did that last night and he got the win. It was still a close fight. Uh, it was a split de uh, decision, but it was just very unfortunate for uh, Tim Zoo, man. But it is what it is. Uh, maybe these guys could rematch. Uh, I don't know if they are going to rematch. You know, we've we seen Earl Spence go up there and call out uh, Fundora. And I don't know what's going on with that because now, you know, uh, Spence and Bud are even beefing. Or they started talking. I don't think they're not beefing, right? But they started uh, throwing shots at each other on Twitter, talking about, like, Bud was like, nah, I'm next. And then Spence was like, nah, nah, you know, I don't do lines or some shit like that, right? But they're basically trying to... Uh, they're basically trying to fight Fundora, man. And I think... I'm going to keep it real, bro. I think they're trying to fight him because they know it's easy pickings, man. Um, Fundura, he ain't look too good, bro. And I think either Spence or Bud, they'll tear his ass up, you know. Um, and uh, I think Tim Zoo would have be, beat him too if it wasn't for all that damn blood. But, man, that was that was an entertaining fight, man. That was a very, very entertaining fight. You know, we got to give props to both of these guys for sticking tough, man. It was, that, it was a bloodbath, bro. There was blood everywhere. That shit was crazy. And um, and just imagine you trying to fight, you losing that much blood. Tim Zhu, he looked kind of weak to me a after a couple of rounds after he got that cut. And I think it did have a lot to do with uh, with all the damn blood that he was losing, man. Because you just stop to think about um, how much blood he was actually losing throughout them damn rounds, bro. That cut never stopped, man. It never, never stopped, bro. That shit just it was squirting at. at you know, sometimes they had it a little bit under control, but in the beginning, man, that shit was squirting pretty crazy, you know, and, and he and he stayed in there, and he, in some rounds, I couldn't figure it out, bro, it was weird, it seemed like he looked weak, like, like if, uh, some rounds he kind of seemed like he was hurt, but I don't know how much it was, uh, due to the blood situation, or, or to the fact that he couldn't see, and he was just, uh, 
I don't know, frustrated, frustrated or whatever. But yeah, it wasn't a, it wasn't a good night. Uh, it wasn't easy or it wasn't a comfortable fight for Fundora or for Tim Zhu, you know. But they got through it. They gave the fans exactly what they wanted. And uh, shout out to, uh, to both of these guys for, for um, you know, making a, a badass fight, bro. Because that was a badass fight, you know. And all last night, bro, the whole card it was all entertaining as hell, man. But um. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to come out here and report on that shit, bro, because it was, you know, it was a good weekend of boxing and shit. But uh, let me know what you guys think, man. Um, do you guys think if Tim Zhu wouldn't have got that cut on his head, he would have won that fight? Me personally, bro, I think he would have won that fight easily. Um, but unfortunately, you know, he got that cut, and and it is what it is. And uh, let me know if you guys think uh, Roley is damaged goods, bro. I'm telling you, Roley is not the same. He's never going to be the same. Um, we're going to keep seeing Roley get knocked out. Because that chin is just not there no more, man. But uh, that's it for me, you guys. You know, I'll be on to the next one, man. I'm out.